Hey, if you've been following my channel lately, you've probably been seeing a lot of my Beretta 92G Elite LTT. I love this gun. Just when I thought I couldn't love Beretta 92s anymore, this gun comes out, makes me love them just a little bit more. And that's saying something because everyone knows Beretta 92s are my favorite semi-automatic pistol. Well, like I said, I just love this gun a whole lot more than I ever thought I would. And uh, it's just a great gun. I can't tell you how great a carry gun it is, but there are a couple of things about it I want to change because there's some things I liked better. If you watched my comparison between this gun and my Wilson Combat, I liked some things about the Wilson Combat better. And one of them was the sights. As you can see, the Elite LTT has a red fiber optic front sight. Now I could change this out to a green fiber optic, I think would be better, but I thought I'd get rid of the fiber optic altogether and make it more like the Wilson Combat Beretta, the front sight that it has. So I went and ordered this Spartan front night sight with the orange rim around it here. Not orange rim, it's not a rim, it's a circle. Uh, orange circle around the night sight here. Uh, I'm gonna put this on there to make it a little bit more like the Wilson Combat. I got this from Langdon Tactical, came in yesterday, so I thought, you know, today, let's go ahead and install it. First thing we're gonna to need to do is get the sight off of this gun. Luckily, I've got a sight pusher for that because these are notoriously hard to get out. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do before I actually start taking the sight off is I'm gonna go stick this in the freezer for about an hour. Let it get nice and cold. That sometimes makes the sights come out a little easier. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back and we'll take the front sight out. Okay, it's out of the freezer, so let's get to work here. Came right out putting a little liquid blue on the spaces that were under the site because, you know, the finish rubs off underneath the site. It'll be covered up by the new site, but still, I like to kind of put a little bit more of a protective coating under there just in case. Now I'm about to get the new site in there. That's harder than actually getting the old site out, usually, if you ask me. Now to start fitting the new site, I'm going to, have to take a little piece of sandpaper and just rub the bottom on a flat surface. This isn't a really flat surface here, but I'm just doing this for demonstration. I'll actually do it on a flat surface. And you want to keep doing this until you get it to where it will actually start in there and go in, you know, a little bit. You know, go into about where the sight is actually aligned with the side of the gun, where the part of this part of the sight is aligned with the side here. And you always want to go in on a Beretta. They come out from right to left as you're looking down the barrel of the gun, right to left, and then they go in left to right. A little bit more. Always just do a little at a time because you can always take more off, but you can't put it back on. Like I said, from left to right. Okay, there. It's in there about as far as I need it to be able to go loosely. And then I'll just have to tap it into place. And just push them back the other way here. Oh, and for the people that are going to ask, uh, this is a Wheeler sight pusher. It is not the cheapest sight pusher you can buy, uh, but... In my opinion, it's worth it. It's very good. I used to use a BJ500, uh, which was my nickname in high school. I joked before. But uh, this is just so much better system. It's so much easier to use. Uh, Berettas do present a little bit of a problem because the piece that's supposed to go on the upper curvature of the gun, Berettas don't have that. So you got to shove something under there. You might have seen I did that with a grip when I was taking those off. But the Wheeler Engineering uh, Sight Pusher, if you're someone who does a lot of your own work on your gun, especially changing sights, this is definitely worth the money. Oh, and no, I didn't get this free. I paid for it off of, I believe, Amazon. So <clears throat> not a paid endorsement here. Just I really like using it. All right, it's on there, and I've got it centered. Next thing I have to do is just put the gun together, take it to the range, and recite it just to make sure this is centered properly. I'll just take a little brass punch and a hammer with me and give it a little tap left or right to get it lined back up properly. Okay, they're on there, and I took it out back and sighted it in, and I didn't have to change anything. They were right on already. Uh, that happens about 50% of the time when replacing a front sight, less when replacing a back sight. But they were right on, so didn't have to worry about readjusting them. Uh, really like the look of it better, really like the sight picture better. You can really pick up that front sight, even in bright daylight. That sight is way more visible than the fiber optic sight. And at night, that uh, tritium bile in there is going to make a big difference. So really like the new sight. Uh, made a gun that's pretty much almost perfect right out of the box, even a little better. So 
If you're wanting to change the front sight on a gun like this, it's really not that hard. I know I use a sight pusher. You don't actually have to, but it does make it easier. These little types of uh, projects are very easy. So if it's something you want to do, go ahead and try it. Uh, the worst you can do is uh, damage your dovetail or damage your sight, which can be fixed. Uh, it's not the easiest thing. So I do say be careful if you're doing it. It always pays to go slow and do as little as possible each time you do something. That way you don't tend to make a mistake. Make sure you're absolutely lined up when you start pushing. When you're pounding something in with a hammer and a mallet, make sure you got a good solid surface, that you're in a good vise, that you're not jumping all over the place so you don't damage finishes or dovetails, etc. Just be careful, pay attention to what you're doing, and stuff like this is easy. And like I say, I like this a lot better. So that little bit of work was definitely worth it. <gasps> Oops. Thank you.